From this video, you will get tips to prepare for ServiceNow Certified Technical Architect CTA, exam. Introduction to the CTA program. Eligibility requirements. Exam topics. Study tips to pass the CTA exam. 1. What are the types of splits in a multi-development environment stack? A. Scoped app and global configuration splits. B. Product-based and release-based splits. C. Geographic and functional splits. D. Timeline and project-based splits. Answer. B. 2. What does the ServiceNow Security Center's daily compliance score indicate in ServiceNow? A. The number of security incidents created in the last 24 hours. B. The number of phishing emails resolved in the last 24 hours. C. The security compliance percentage of the ServiceNow instance. D. Percentage of vulnerabilities remediated in the last 24 hours. Answer. C. 3. What is the main focus in the foundation stage of implementing the CSDM framework? A. Identifying and populating network infrastructure sys. B. Preparing accurate business information for reporting. C. Setting up relationships between technology and business. D. Working on CMDB tables associated with ITSM. Answer. C. 4. Why is IP address access control considered part of the network layer despite being implemented in the application layer? A. It performs data tokenization and substitution for security. B. It uses encryption to protect data at rest in the ServiceNow instance. C. It restricts access to the instance based on IP address ranges. D. It manages user authentication to the ServiceNow platform. Answer. C. 5. What action does the identification and reconciliation module perform to reduce duplicates in the CMDB? A. Merges duplicate records automatically. B. Uses identification rules to uniquely identify sys. C. Validates data sources to ensure accuracy. D. Assigns unique identifiers to each C. Answer. B. 6. Under technical governance policies, what does environmental management in ServiceNow primarily define? A. Instance structure. B. Data ownership. C. User access policies. D. Application customization. Answer. A. 7. How are new classes of configuration items, sys, and relationships created in the ServiceNow CMDB? A. Importing data from external sources. B. Using predefined templates. C. Using Integration Hub ETL. D. Extending other classes. Answer. D. 8. A CTA is guiding a client through the final step of planning a ServiceNow integration.
What critical aspects should the CTA prioritize when gathering technical details? A. Assessing network and system communication needs. B. Determining the color scheme for integration UI. C. Planning the communication for the integration go live. D. Estimating the projected integration data metrics. Answer. A. 9. What is the primary purpose of analyzing an organization's existing architecture as a CTA? A. To evaluate existing system performance. B. To identify issues and gaps in the system. C. To recommend a product roadmap. D. To evaluate existing testing practices. Answer. A. 10. A CTA is advising a large organization with multiple ServiceNow instances across different departments. The client wants to streamline their application deployment process and ensure consistency across instances. Which recommendation should the CTA prioritize regarding the application repository? A. Use it for a citizen development program. B. Employ it for real-time collaborative coding. C. Use it to centralize and distribute custom apps. D. Use it as a backup for all global application packages. Answer. A. Subscribe and like pass question.